I'm going to give you three stars. And with a very impressive three gold stars for Justine from Teacher Tom, the girl's gone straight to the top of his class. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. Another day, another dinner date. This time it's the turn of 27-year-old graphic designer and music mad Mancunian Paul. I like to go to gigs, I like to go to festivals, I travel about as much as I can, do my work, because that's quite cool, um, you know, going out and about, socialising with people. So, Singleton Paul loves a gig, but what kind of girl would take centre stage in his life? Creative, I suppose. Creative-minded, even if you don't do anything particularly creative job-wise. Um, not stupid. That's it, really. Not taller than me, because I look like a freak next to you. He's hoping to make sweet music with a petite and arty lass. But what are the headline acts on his menu tonight? When she saw Paul's menu, Justine couldn't wait to sample his Mancunian take on tapas. And she loved the sound of his classic English pud. But it looks like a mountain of work to get through. Best crack on. Do the easiest thing first. I've made salad before. I've never made uh, half the stuff I'm doing before, no. Um, bit of an experiment, but we'll see what happens. Yes, we will. There's nowhere to hide now. I do consider myself a good cook, yeah. I mean, I've not died yet. Well, that's something. Cooked for girls before. Uh, I cooked for my mum. She liked it. Yeah, mums are good like that. Let's hope Justine is as kind. As if he didn't have enough food to make, Paul's added a chicken in a mushroom and tarragon sauce dish to his Mancunian tapas. He sautés onions and mushrooms, adds double cream, and finally, a very healthy sprinkling of tarragon. Just stir the tarragon through. Easy does it. French tarragon is called the queen of herbs. It has a strong aniseed flavour and can overpower a dish. As Paul preps his caramelised onions for the starter, his thoughts turn to the evening ahead. I guess I'm a bit ner not nervous, just, yeah, I'm apprehensive because I don't know who she is. Um, she's coming in my house, which is a bit odd. Um, but as long as she doesn't rob anything, then she's all right. Is that what the girls are like round your way? Moving on, the apple chutney relish for the black pudding. I think you just put apples in, a bit of cider vinegar and some sugar. Ginger. That's about as far as I know, to be honest. Seeming a little unsure, he combines all the ingredients he can remember and gives it a stir. Paul's still got tons to do. On with that last-minute chicken dish. Just give it a bit of a flash fry and then let it cook in its own heat in the tub and then reheat it fully and it'll cook right through. No time to breathe. Paul gets going with the pastry for his goat's cheese starter. That's me cutter. Very resourceful. With these tarts, I'm going to lob a bit of goat's cheese in the middle, slap a bit of beaten egg on them and uh, hope that they cook. Lob, slap and hope. That'll sort it. This is going to be a disaster. Maybe not. Finally, pud. Running out of prep time at all? Chucking all the ingredients into a pan and letting it all soften up and stew. Right you are. In with the apple, rhubarb and caster sugar. Why not lob, slap and hope again? That'll do. When in Rome. You're not in Rome. You're in Manchester. Next, orange juice and ginger. Then the seeds out of a vanilla pod to flavour the yoghurt. He might just have pulled this off, you know. Right. That's done. That's done. That's me. I'm going to get ready. Yes, no time to dawdle. Your date's just around the corner. The best case is he's he's kind of a very kind of Mediterranean man, so he's very good at making lots of different tapas. But at the same time, a little bit of me thinks he might actually not be able to cook at all. She'll find out soon enough. A little bit of excitement, apprehension, nervousness, I guess, you, you know, just... It's just surreal. Don't really know what to expect. She's here. Hello. Hello. Right. Nice <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Come in. Thank you. Oh, how are you anyway? I'm all right. Exhausted. Have you? You've been cooking for a long time? Yeah, all day. 
Really? Yeah, since about nine o'clock this morning. Oh my God, he's actually so many little things. That's a lie. Oh, so, okay. Have you actually just started about half an hour ago? About 10 minutes ago. <laughs> okay. What are those all important first impressions then? Very bubbly. Quite the opposite to me, which uh, she might think I'm a miserable sod. Yeah, she's lovely. She's very attractive, very tall. I'm not really attracted to him at this point, but you know, I'm not, I say I, I'll never judge like on first impressions, but at the moment, not really. The tapas are coming to the table. Will Justine's date with Paul be a Spanish delight or a Mancunian fright? This is Dinner Date, the show where people hope to find true love through their love of good food. Furniture sales manager Justine is going for three romantic dinners, each cooked by a blind date. She's already been on her first date with Liverpudlian teacher Tom. But right now, she's just arrived for date number two with graphic designer Paul from Blackburn. And Paul is putting the finishing touches to his goat's cheese tart starter. That's mine with my name on it. Thank you. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I like it. And what's in it? What's this? Goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Of course it's goat's cheese. <laughs> if it were horrible, would you say? Um. Would you be polite if it was just mildly horrible? Mild? I probably would. I'd probably be quite polite, yeah. Hmm, she doesn't need to. I think the barely touched tart speaks for itself. Oh dear, let's hope she's more impressed with the tapas. Right, what have we got first? Where are we starting? I was going to lob it all on at once. Love's a lob, this lad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really know what it is. Um... <laughs> well, neither do I. <laughs> As Paul pulls his Mancunian tapas together, Justine's impressed. That's chicken, tarragon, mushrooms. Oh, nice. Bought that from ready-made from... Uh, Supermarket. I didn't uh -huh. really. Oh, did you not? not I say, it looks like you did. So good job. No, no, I made do it. Do you do much cooking? I'd like to do more, but we're lads, aren't we? Lads all cook for each other. It's, yeah. meant, it's a bit well, weird. Why do you know? Because we're not metrosexual. <laughs> <laughs> this amount of food needs more than one pair of hands. King prawns in white wine sauce, patatas bravas, spuds fried then drenched in a fiery tomato and chilli pepper sauce, stuffed peppers and finally chorizo. Phew! Bon appetit! Macadam. 
<laughs> to guy, it'd be worth it, it'd be worth it, you can re-energise. Mmm, it's fantastic, really nice. Hang on, you two. Aren't you missing a few things? Yeah, it is. Oh, black pudding. Oh, I forgot about the chicken. Oh, chicken, yeah. Let me just warm it up. This apple chutney, I have no idea where oh, it's from. Oh, apple chutney. God, there's loads of stuff we've been missing over here. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Cut the boy a bit of slack, Justine. He's cooked nine dishes and that's just for the main. You're not even eating any of it. Are you kidding? There's not hardly anything left. You wanted the... the I'm not bothered for the... For the what? For the beef. Oh, I'd have had it rare. Well, if you... Why didn't you blooming say you wanted it rare? You're a guest and I'm a gentleman. Chivalry is alive and well in Manchester. Shame Justine hasn't noticed. Oh. Right, take a piece. Right, here we go. What are you mocking me for? I'm not mocking it, I love the accent. Take though. some apple. Oh, take it all right, all of them. Me, 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 God! <laughs> They're reading me so many rules. <laughs> this nine course mains become a bit of a pain. Time to say adios to tapas and hola to dessert. Will this sweeten the atmosphere? It looks like uh, mushy peas and spuds, actually. It does a bit, actually. Like what you get in a pudding at the chipping. Cheers for that. And all rests on the dessert of stewed rhubarb and apple with vanilla yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't even be nice on this one then. Right, honestly, so, I want you honest. All right. Hmm. Right. I'm sorry. I like the yogurt. <laughs> no, it, I, I, I don't. It's, it's peculiar. Not, it's just a Why weird taste. It? I can't really taste anything. I don't know if I'm just. I don't know what's up with my taste buds. I can't really taste much of anything. Thanks. Might be time to call it a night. Thank you very much. Well, that's all right. Cheers really, for coming. Uh, nice night. Lovely food. Great Have a safe journey. Thank you. Mwah. Great See to you meet you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. I didn't have anything in common with him, really. I think, um, given more time, and I would get, pick up his sense of humour because I have lots of friends like that, but at the same time, um, I'm not particularly eager to come, and look, to come and get to know him better, really, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I mean, she's just good-looking and seems fun, so I guess you'd yeah, I'd like to know more. So how will Paul rate his date in stars? Justine was fun. Interesting, different. Um, I've had a good time, and yeah, she was cool. So, Justine, I would give you two and a half stars. That's two and a half stars for Justine from Paul. Perhaps Paul has found his wonder wall. Next day, and it's the third and final date with 30 year old solicitor Jubin. Single for just a few months, irregular.